Hello? How can I help you? He asks, sounding far too nice. This isn't funny, Lane. I have groceries that are getting warm out here. They'll be spoiled. Who is this? He asks, like he's confused. Lane, it's really not funny. I'm sorry, I, I think, I think you have the wrong number. Goodbye. He hangs up on me. So I sit down on the porch and break out the cookies and milk. I eat about three. Or maybe seven as I lounge back in the hot sun and wait. I assume wrongly, of course, that after an hour or so, he'd let me in. After I run out of things to do on my phone, I decided to give in and call James. He seems to be the only one Lane listens to. This is James? James, this is Felix. I'm having a bit of an issue. He groans. Oh, great. What now? Well, Lane's locked me out of the house. You don't have your keys? Well, the door was open when I left, I say. I didn't think about grabbing him. He sighs. I understand. I'll call him and see if I can get him to open it. Thank you, I say. Of course. But remember this from now on. Oh, trust me. I will. It's at least twenty minutes before I hear the door unlock. I yank it open as Lane runs his wheelchair into the wall on his way back into the living room. You're real funny, I say. I thought so. He says from where he's disappeared into the living room. Most fun I've had in a while, if I'm being honest. I have to throw away half the stuff I bought, so don't expect anything edible for supper. Oh, don't worry. I wouldn't anyway. I drag the groceries into the kitchen and toss what's warm and put the rest away before walking into the living room. I was hoping if I locked you outside long enough the heat would get to you. He says. Sorry, I say. I'm not a dog. Fool me. I make Lane some ravioli from a can for lunch and set it down in front of him. He puts the spoon in his mouth and sits up straight. This is absolutely delicious. You finally figured out how to cook. Shut it, I say as he laughs to himself. When I'm finished eating lunch, I clean the house. It's already clean, but there are a few things to pick up. When I walk toward the kitchen, I look into the living room to check on Lane and notice he has the book I left on the coffee table. He slowly touches in the pages before turning them. It kind of makes me feel slightly bad for the guy, even though his personality is as rotten as the food he forced me to leave out in the hot sun. 